Broberg stands at 6'3", 203 pounds, and plays defense for the AIK team at SHL. Last season, he scored two goals, added seven assists for a total of nine points in 41 games. Yes, I can hear the confusion going on, and yes, those stats are literally terrible, but hear me out. Broberg was one of the top defensive prospects heading into last season, being considered the same or better than Bowen Byron. And what really pushed him to the next level was his performance in the Gretzky Cup, performing at just under a point per game. As you can see, once the season started, he started playing with players not around his age, and his point production decreased rapidly. The reason for this is not that he's not skilled. The answer lies in his hockey IQ. Broberg does not process the game fast enough to know what would be the best move in this given situation in front of him before it's too late to make the correct move. The team that selects him will be taking a risk as to whether he will mold into a franchise defenseman or end up a bust. I think realistically the worst you could get out of selecting Broberg is a defenseman like Danny DeKaiser, who is alright, not great, but gets the job done. Broberg's skill and potential could easily beat out Bowen Byron for the best defenseman in the upcoming draft, but this is a player that we would have to wait and be patient and let develop. This definitely wouldn't be a break into the NHL next season situation. Personally, this almost seems like a match made in heaven. The Red Wings are a team that loves to be patient and develop their prospects until they are ripe. They also are in need of a number one defenseman, or specifically a better defensive core, but either way, obviously it will come down to Eiserman's decision and how he sees him developing. But if Eiserman sees him as a player who could develop well in our system and is willing to work hard like Larkin does day in and day out, he could easily be the next Eric Carlson. I do think Broberg may be the right choice for the Red Wings to select. Maybe they should trade down and get him at a later pick. This is obviously will depend on how early Byron goes. Broberg is likely the next defenseman to get selected in the draft if not ahead of Byron. So if Byron goes early, that means any team looking to add defense would have to select Philip Broberg or Cam York. I think it would be about two or maybe three seasons before we see Broberg in the NHL full time, which would work out with time. As of most of the Red Wings offensive core consisting of Larkin, Mantha, Bertuzzi, Hiroshi, and Anthony Siu will be heading into their prime, along with Rasmussen, Valeno, and Zadina, who will be ready to compete for the playoffs and the cup. What do you think of Broberg? Is he a bust or a gem? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, lights on the red light district.